Active Directory groups enable administrators to manage all objects and services from one centralized location, rather than having to go from computer to computer to get things done. Many other programs can tie into Active Directory to manage user accounts and other objects as well. Active Directory has several built-in groups that you can use to assign users or computers to, so they have the permissions they need to get their work done. You can also create your own groups and assign those groups various levels of access and permissions within Active Directory. A group is a method for collecting users, contacts, computers, and even other groups' objects so that you can manage the object in that group as a single unit. Objects that belong to a particular group are referred to as group members. Using groups can simplify administration by assigning a set of permissions to a group once rather than assigning permissions and rights to each group member individually. To simplify administration by assigning shared resource permission to Active Directory groups rather than individual users, when you assign permission to a group, all its members have the same access to the resource. To delegate the control by assigning user rights to a group using group policies, in the future, you can add new members to the group who need the permission granted by this group. One of the major uses of Active Directory groups is to create email distribution lists. Active Directory groups are a collection of Active Directory objects. The group can include users, computers, other groups, and other AD objects. The administrator manages the group as a single object. In Windows, there are seven types of groups, two domain group types with three scopes in each, and a local security group. Domain groups consist of security groups and distribution groups, and within these two groups, we have three group scopes, universal, global, and domain local. When creating a new Active Directory group, you will need to choose between the security and distribution group, as well as choose the group scope. You use distribution groups to create email distribution lists and security groups to assign permissions to shared resources. Security groups should be used with care. Security groups provide an efficient way to assign access to resources on your network. Using security groups, you can assign user rights and assign permissions to resources. Security groups can also be used as a distribution group in exchange. These are known as security-enabled distribution groups or mail-enabled security groups. Distribution groups are designed to combine users together so you can send emails via Microsoft Exchange Server collectively to a group rather than individually to each user in the group. Distribution groups are designed to be used for email specifically and cannot be granted Windows permissions. The terms distribution groups and distribution lists tend to be used interchangeably, particularly if you work with Microsoft Exchange Server. Administrators should not let this trip them up. When setting up a directory or distribution group, you will also need to choose a scope for that group, so Active Directory knows how to assign their permissions to the resources that group is allowed to access. There are three group scopes, universal, global, and domain local. A universal group can contain users and groups, global and universal, from any domain in the forest. Universal groups can be a member of domain local groups or other universal groups, but not global groups. A global group can contain users, computers, and groups from the same domain, but not universal groups. It can be a member of global groups of the same domain, domain local groups, or universal groups from any domain in the forest or trusted domains. A domain local group can contain users, computers, global groups, and universal groups from any domain in the forest and any trusted domain, and domain local groups from the same domain. Domain local groups are the only groups that can have members from outside the forest. You should use global groups if you have trust relationships, and universal groups if you do not care about trust relationships. There are also local groups. These groups are created in the local security accounts administration database on the specific computer. The difference from domain groups is that local groups work even if the domain controllers cannot be contacted. You can change the Active Directory group scope or type, but there are several conditions. You can convert a global security group to a universal group if the group is not part of another global group. 
you can convert a domain local group to a universal group if another local domain group is not added to the list of its members. You can convert a universal group to a domain local group without any restrictions. You can convert a universal group to a global group if it does not contain another universal group as a member. NetRix Group ID offers a suite of solutions that empowers IT professionals to manage group users and entitlements effectively and automatically.